Morning, Morris Brown leaders are asking for your help after a fire tore through this building and caused all of this damage. You can see just how much of it is here. Channel 2's Taisha Fernandez is live outside the school in southwest Atlanta. Taisha, the cleanup is going to cost about $100,000. And Sophia, it's a mix of fire damage, but also there's a whole lot of water damage because the sprinklers were going all night in one of the buildings. If you take a look at this dumpster here in the distance, that is part of the cleanup here at Mars Brown. While we were covering this story, we learned that this school has dealt with several fires before, some accidental, but one police are calling arson. Officials at Morris Brown College put industrial sized fans all over campus Monday after a fire ripped through a main building at Georgia's first historically black college Friday. The school's interim president, Dr. Kevin James, said the damage will cost about $100,000 to repair. The good thing is that the fire was contained, but the bad part regarding the water is the entire uh, building was damaged. The school has had major issues since it gained world notoriety when the hit movie Stomp the Yard and Drumline were filmed here. Now the school is in debt. It's fighting to get its accreditation back, and they'll have to come up with the money to repair this damage. We're going to be reaching out to the alums to give what they can and the community and other supporters to help us raise the dollars needed to, to restore the building. We have been covering fires here for more than 20 years. Back in 1998, police thought an arsonist may have caused a fire. Then in 2001, there was a fire in a dorm. In 2015, the same thing. And then the next year, police say squatters started a fire in one of the vacant buildings here. Just another roadblock. But guess what? We're going to overcome this and we're going to continue to move forward, restore Morris Brown. The hard reset. If you'd like to help uh, with the school's repairs by donating to their GoFundMe page, just go to our news app, WSB TV, click on the story, and you'll find the link there.